Hi, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day this video is finding you. Um, welcome to Barely Grace. My name is Grace and I started this YouTube channel along with a Facebook group of the same name to promote uh, self-care. Um, I do feel that self-care is very important um, and I think that it's something that you should strive for every day. Uh, if this is something that interests you, then I do encourage you to like and subscribe, um, share this video with your friends, and join us in our Facebook group. We do have lots of fun there. Uh, most of my videos do focus around skincare, hair care, and makeup, uh, but I may from time to time talk about other things as well and just kind of how they relate to self-care. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for joining me along on this journey. Um, I am currently drinking uh, water. I've had maybe, maybe 50, almost 60 ounces today. So, um, it is Friday night and this video will go up on Sunday. Um, I've already done today's video. I have pre-scheduled Saturday's video and this will be Sunday's video. And I thought that I would do makeup, um, but to make it a little bit different, I'm only going to be using either brand new products that I've never used before or products that I haven't used in a long time. Um, so that's kind of what um, I'm going to be doing. As you can see, <laughs> this uh, still has not been opened. Um, so this is my primer that I'm going to be using. This is the Sophia and Mabel I Woke Up Like This Skin Perfecting Primer. Um, I received this in an Ipsy add-on order. I did an unboxing of it um, a couple days ago. You can find it in my playlists. This is very much a... There we go. This is very much a jelly-like consistency. And it does... Uh, let's see, smooth skin blurs the look of pores so your makeup lasts for hours. So it is supposed to be a blurring uh, primer. And I did my skincare earlier today. And so I didn't, and I knew that I was going to be trying a different primer. So I didn't really want to put like any additional skincare on. And my face, it has been dry recently. Uh, but I've been using like face oils and things like that. So hopefully this will give the hydration that I need. I do like how it feels. It's a little bit tacky. Um, I do like to let it kind of dry and, and soak in a little bit. A little bit definitely goes a long way. It's very like slippy over the skin. Um, so yeah. Oh, I didn't bring, I normally like to have like a makeup wipe um, in here with me so that I can use that um, kind of while I'm putting my makeup on. And I don't have one, but I'm gonna see if I have like maybe a paper towel or something. I may have to get up and go get that in a minute but that's okay so I like to let the primer dry down while I do that I will go ahead and prime my eyes um, normally I would use an eye primer uh, but I don't have a new one and I don't have one that I haven't used in a while so I did grab a concealer um, I prefer eye primer but um, a lot of people do use concealer um, as an eyeshadow base so that's what I'm going to do this is from a company called item Let's see if I can get that to, um, there we go. So this is the Air Hug Concealer. Um, it is says it is smoothing medium to full coverage concealer. So I'm just gonna use a little bit. It does have a, it does have a doe foot there. I'm just gonna use a little bit um, of product because I really don't know how far. <laughs> it's probably gonna go for a long way and I've probably used too much. But that's okay, we can make it work. 
So I'm just going to prime my eyes while my um, primer is just kind of drying. Oh yeah, I did use an awful lot. Definitely a little dab will do ya. I should have known when it said full coverage. But again, that's okay. It's definitely something that we can make it work. I don't know if I really have necessarily any plans for the weekend. Um, we did get a new TV this week, and so that is definitely something um, that has got to be mounted. My husband started trying to mount it earlier and said uh, that he needs something from Lowe's that he didn't have, and he's still kind of trying to think about exactly what it is that he wants to to use for the mount so yeah it is huge TV I thought our TV was big before the new one is like um, a 65 inch and it's huge and like it's so funny because right now it's just kind of um, so in our living room we have my husband made like these shelves that go all the way down the wall and right now our current TV sits on the very top shelf and I think it's like a 50 inch is what we have right now. And I always thought it was really big, but my husband wanted something bigger. And I was like, you're crazy. We don't need a bigger TV. And then we got the bigger one and like, um, we have it sitting, um, kind of in front of the shelving unit right now. And it looks absolutely huge. It is absolutely huge. So I didn't really bring anything to set that concealer, um, but I do have, and this is this is new. It's from CoverGirl. It is their clean. That's not there. We go. Um, <laughs> it is their clean powder foundation for normal skin. This is the color creamy natural and this is what it looks like i haven't i tried it just a little bit just to see if the color was a match for my skin like to use as a foundation and it seems to be okay like something that i can definitely make it work and we're about to see we're about to see how well it's going to work because that's what i'm going to use for my foundation now because i want to see like how it works as like a powder I am not going to put like any color corrector or anything like that that I would normally put when I'm going to go in with foundation. Um, since this is a new product and I really don't know how it works, um, I want to um, I want to do it without any um, any other products. Like I'm going to do it without a lot of products. Let me see how it works. I really I don't like the little sponge that came with it. You can see where I. That was where I kind of uh, did a skin test just to see if it was a, a good color. So I'm just, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to use a brush that I would normally use uh, with foundation. So we're going to see, and I assume that this is buildable. Um, really my goal in foundation um, is just to kind of give a little bit of coverage. Um and to kind of help even out my skin tone. That's really my goal when it comes to foundation. And um, I do a lot of times, I will just wear like a primer and a, uh, a powder. Uh, so a lot of times I don't even like use a foundation, but I do want something that has a little bit more coverage. Um, so that's why I wanted to try like a powder foundation just to see how well it would do. Like I have a little, like a complexion stick and I pulled it out because I was gonna use it. It's like a cream stick that has um, a highlight color and a contour color. Um, and I was, I pulled that out because I haven't used that in a really long time. The first time I used it, I don't think I liked it that much, but I wanted to give it another shot. But I'll have to do that in a different video. 
<clears throat> um, because I didn't, like I said, I didn't want to put any type of like cream products underneath this uh, new powder foundation because I kind of want to see just kind of how it works. And I'm okay with like the coverage that it's giving. I mean, it's definitely doing something. The color match looks good. Um, so yeah, let me see a little bit of a closer up mirror. Mm -hmm. And so I don't mind this at all. I'm gonna go again, just make sure my eyes are set. I think I grabbed a couple of little eyeshadows. Um, I've said this before, I generally uh, will use Jeffree Star, and so I kind of had to dig into my, um, I had to dig into some of my makeup so that I would uh, have something that I could use for eyes, but I did, I did find something, and I, I mean, I like that, it gives a nice little, um, it gives a nice little look. I got a new brow product. And I don't know, I guess I'll just, I guess you'll just go along with me. The spoolie and like the little brush for the spoolie is a little bit small. Like it's short, but that's okay. I mean, I'm short and I work just fine. But it's like a, um, it's LA Colors. And it's just a little pot, like a little pomade pot. I have another new um, product, but I've used it before. Like I have the new e.l.f. brow pencil that I bought the other day. But I have used that before. And again, I kind of wanted to do, um, I wanted to use products that I hadn't necessarily used recently or in a long time. So... This is definitely um, dark, and it is definitely, and I kind of have to be worked through, and I'm going to have to learn how to use this product, and it looks like you may maybe have to use it fairly quickly, and it looks kind of dark, but I'm guessing if I brush it out just a little bit. Then maybe that'll give kind of the look that I'm going for. Mm, I don't know how much I like that. Maybe it's the wrong color. Let me grab like my spoolie just to kind of see. Maybe it's a little bit too dark. I don't normally, like, a lot of times you'll see where after people do their brows, they'll kind of cut their brow back out with concealer, and that's not normally something that I do, but I'm wondering maybe if I use this product, if I would need um, to do that. Hmm. That's okay. Like I said, this might be something that I need to kind of play around with a little bit just to see. Let me try to do it a little bit different on this side. I don't know about this, but we're going with it. It's new. <sighs> okay. And I like to kind of, kind of rotate, like as I'm brushing, I also kind of, just to make sure that my brows are kind of fluffing out. Okay, so that's not terrible. I, I do kind of like this one, like the second one that I did a little bit better. Maybe I just kind of got some of the product worked through it a little bit better than I did on this side. Hmm, that's okay. Um, I think I've said this before, I really like brow pencils. Um, 
but I kind of wanted to try a couple of different brow products just to make sure that like that I wasn't missing out on anything because <laughs> I see you know a lot of people use a lot of different products or will talk about a lot of different products and yeah so I don't know about that um, I did I picked that up today actually I got it at Dollar General and I think it was like a dollar um, so I mean that's okay we will settle on that for right now and I got a new I got a new bronzer the other day in my Ipsy uh, this is called Park Avenue Princess this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay uh, bronze bronzer formula oh, let me, oh no it's not in there okay there we go the bronzer um, Tarte makes an Amazonian clay bronzer and then they also make a blush and that's the blush I'm going to be using. The bronzer I just got, um, the blush I've actually had for a while but I've never really used it that much. So, I do like the Amazonian clay, um, kind of the formula and how that, um, how that works. So, and I think this color is okay. And again, with bronzer, I just kind of carve out um, and then go up my hairline. I have this. Um, I think I think I got this from an Ipsy a long time ago. Um, I don't think it was an add-on. I think it was just something that came in my Ipsy, or maybe it was. Maybe I got like. I don't know, like a hair product in, in this bundle or something, or like, I don't know, I could have gotten like an eye, um, like a sleep mask. I don't really remember, but I do wear this occasionally when I'm putting makeup on so that it can hold my hair back, like my bangs and things. And then of course we've got to bronze our chin. But I do like this bronzer color. Okay. And then down my nose with the bronzer. And again, you can start out with just a small amount and then kind of build it up to however you want it. I just carve out the tip of my nose and then under my lip so yeah we'll probably be figuring out something with that TV this weekend um, my middle is in JROTC at school and is on the archery team and they have an archery tournament tomorrow um, so I think my husband I don't think I'm gonna I don't know I don't know if I'm going to go or not, but I think my husband is. So, yeah, that's pretty good for the bronzer. I do like that. Again, I've used that formula before. I don't think I've used the bronzer, and then I haven't used this blush in a really long time. Um, this is the Amazonian Clay 12-hour um, blush. This is in the color Feisty. Um, again, it is tart. I've had this one for a while, but I haven't really used it that much. There it is. So yeah. With blush, I generally like to go in like at the tops of my cheeks and then I also will carry it across. If you hear something crazy, that's probably my cat. She's been in a mood and has been extremely vocal. So if you hear a cat in the background, it's probably Dusty, which is my younger cat. And then I always do like the end of my nose with blush. That's just one of those little things that I do. And then a very small amount here. So 
Yeah, that's okay. I am definitely, um, I am not feeling those eyebrows 100%. This is the, um, this is the eye pencil. I'm trying to get a good angle. This is the eye pencil that I bought, but I've used it before, and it's like my second favorite eye pencil. That's why I kind of trying to wanted to try a, a newer product, something that I hadn't really used. But I will probably just continue using my uh, trusty, <laughs> my trusty eye pencil. But I will show this because I didn't open it for the opening video that I did the unboxing. This is what it looks like. There's the color. It's like a taupey brown color. So yeah, this is definitely the brow product that I will be using in the future. Okay, I do. I did grab a highlighter. This is one that I haven't used in a while. This is the K Voss Fairy Dust uh, Pressed Highlighter. This is what it looks like. There we go. You can pick up a little bit of that shimmer. And I don't really know why I kind of stopped using this. I think I just got other things in. And I do love highlighters. So I think I just had other ones that I kind of grabbed. And this was like in, a, in like my spare makeup. Which happens sometimes. So not necessarily something that I would grab every day. And where I tend to highlight is where normally if I'm not wearing makeup, I would look kind of shiny because that's where the light hits. Um, so that's where I like to put my highlighter. So we can do some eyes. Um, I brought a couple of different... I brought a couple of different eye products in here. I brought a Catherine Natural Cosmetics Cruelty Free Paraben Free Gluten Free. This is in a shade called Espresso. I do love some espresso. There we go. So I'll be trying that. And then I brought in this is from the Balm, which the Balm makes wonderful eyeshadows. Um, and this one is Alternative Rock Volume 1 Shadow, I think that's supposed to say Shadow Hard, but part of it's gone, because it looks like it says Fard, F-A-R-D, which is weird. And the color is called Take It For Granted. So here's the packaging. Oh, we're going to focus. There we go. Okay, and this is what it looks like. And I don't know if it's picking up, but it's like a shimmery purple color, like a gray purplish color. That's what it looks like. It's like a very light lavender. Okay, and then I also have this. This is from Naked Cosmetics, and this is a loose shimmer. This is called Desert Sunset. And like I said, this is a loose shimmer. So I'm going to figure out what I can do with these things. Um, definitely not the type of products that I would grab for an eye look. But we're going to make it work. And I'm actually going to use this little Tarte bronzer um, to do kind of a little bit of a crease. And then we'll kind of build up on that. So that's kind of where we're going to go for an eye look. Just to build it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, I, since I started buying and, and getting um, Jeffree Star eyeshadow palettes, I'm very spoiled. And that's definitely what I gravitate towards the most and I have so many different palettes that I mean the possibilities for different looks are endless sometimes I will just go within one palette and kind of choose that as my color story and then sometimes I will do different palettes 
um, to get kind of the look, you know, that I want. Okay, so I'm going to go in now with this espresso kind of at the lash line and to build up that outer corner. And I'm just going to run this around. And then once I get some of it kind of dispersed how I want it here, then I'm probably going to drag it through the crease a little bit just to give just a slight bit more definition to the crease. And that is a very pretty color, a very nice dark brown. I mean, I just, I have other... I have other formulas, other colors, you know, other formulas that are similar to this color. But back before I started buying Jeffrey eyeshadows, these are the types of things that I would kind of reach for. And then sometimes, like if I'm traveling, um, I might not want to take like a Jeffrey palette with me, so I will grab some of these um, to kind of take with me. That way I don't have to be lugging around expensive palettes. Everyone is being awfully quiet in the house. I don't know what's going on. I know my husband is playing um, a game on the new TV. <laughs> so I know that's going on. And then I thought that my oldest, I'm sorry, I thought that my middle and my youngest were cleaning the kitchen. But they must be done because I don't really hear anything. And normally they're extremely loud when they do that. So I would definitely have heard them or would be hearing them. And now I think I'm going to go in with this loose powder. There's actually some in the lid, so I'm going to pick some of that up on my little packing brush and kind of tap that excess off. And then I'm going to go in and put some shimmer here. Cute little shimmer. I thought it would have a little bit more pigment, but it is very much just like a little goldy shimmer. It kind of looks kind of bronzy in the pot, but I, you know, when you're looking at it all together, that's why swatches are so important because the way something looks in a pan or the way something looks in the pot might not necessarily be how it translates. Um, so whereas this is like a very, almost like a bronzy, coppery, um, on the eyes it's giving very much a gold. So, just a note there. And then I'm going to use this one for the inner corner and then maybe a little bit on the bottom lash line. Just to kind of brighten up this look. Yeah, that's a cute little that's a cute little shimmer like I said it's kind of a purpley gray like a like a cool tone very much a cool tone um, I'm definitely not one to shy away from mixing cool tones and warm tones when it comes to makeup um, because they both you know they they both tend to look pretty good on me uh, but you will see, you know, where some people talk about cool tone. They only like cool tone. Some people talk about warm tone. Um, 
but I like to mix them up sometimes. It just really depends on what I'm doing. Uh, this is a mascara. Um, it says it's from Thrive Cosmetics, but I definitely got it from Ipsy. This is the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara in Rich Black. And I think that I just got other mascaras that I reached for more, and that's kind of why I stopped with this one. I don't think there was necessarily anything wrong with the formula. Maybe it was the wand I didn't like, because I just totally, like, jabbed myself with it, which that happens a lot when I'm doing mascara anyway. So that could have very well been it. The wand is very um, slender and the bristles are not very long. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm just. I think maybe I had other wands that I liked better. But the formula seems okay. It's not really doing much like volumizing or lengthening, but it's definitely giving some color and so there's like definition in my eyelashes so that's okay um, as I've said before I don't wear lashes like false lashes so I generally like like a mascara that is um, volumizing and lengthening like the essence lash princess is my favorite I mean, you can tell I'm wearing mascara. Um, this is kind of a more of like a daytime look, something that I would do. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I like a nude kind of lip, so I would generally just kind of leave my lip like this, or maybe put on like a little bit of a um, a gloss. But I have this, and so I was like, why not try it? Uh, since I didn't really do that bold of an eye look, I went more natural with an eye look. This is, there we go, the J Cat Wonder Lip Paint. And the name of this color is Mad Splatter. Here it is, and I don't really... Let me shake this up <laughs> just in case I don't have on any uh, lip liner or anything like that I do have on um, chapstick so that is very uh, like a purpley Yeah, that is very like a purpley pink color, but that's not bad. It feels nice on the lip. It's a little bit uh, more than what I would normally do, but you know, like I said, makeup is definitely something that you should um, kind of play around with. So just because you, you know, may not necessarily gravitate towards a certain color, you know, that doesn't mean that you can't um, kind of make it work. Um, something that you can also do, like with shadow, I mean with, uh, getting ahead of myself, something that you can also do with lipstick, especially if you want to add some like shimmer or something to it, you can take an eyeshadow or take a highlighter and just kind of put that on top to kind of maybe mute it a little bit or make it kind of sparkly so yeah okay so that's this makeup look um I do I think I do really like the um 
where did I put it? I think I do really like the powder foundation. Um, I definitely want to kind of use it more um, and kind of get a gauge on it. But I do really like it. It was a good color match for me. Um, so yeah, I like that. So this is definitely something that I will continue to use. Um, the brow product... I'm not sold on. I may try to play with it some more just to see if I can get some kind of better uh, gauge on how I should be using it. So again, this is the LA Colors um, Dark Brown. It doesn't really say like if it's a, I think it was a pomade. It wouldn't be, um, you know, it wouldn't be a video if I didn't have at least a minor interruption. <laughs> so, the pomade, um, I don't know. Like I said, I, I might get some more use out of it before I would kind of recommend it. Um, the Tarte Blush and Bronzer. Uh, I do love the Amazonian Clay Formula. Um, so that is definitely something that I would recommend and I would use. And there's Dusty. You're going to hear her yowling. Just, um, the K. Voss Highlight. Mm, it's okay, but I generally like a very, uh, like a blinding, you know, highlight. Um, and this is definitely not one. Um, but it is a very light has a very light wash of color. I mean, you can see there, you can pick it up there, but just to me on the face, it's just not enough. Uh, but I might would use it for like an inner corner or something like that. Um, the Balm eyeshadow and the Catherine eyeshadow and the Naked eyeshadow. Um, I thought these put together a pretty good eye look. I mean, it, you know, for something, just for some neutrals uh, with a little bit of shimmer, I think it's very pretty, so that's okay. Um, really not digging the mascara. I mean, it's okay. You can tell it's there, um, but like I said, I normally like something that's really going to give me um, some length and volume in my lashes, and this just didn't do it. Um, so yeah, the lip is okay. Um, I kind of like the formula, like the the little. Um, I guess this is like a stain. Oh, it says it's a paint. Um, so I guess it's kind of like a almost like a lip stain. Um, and it feels nice on the lips. Like it, you can't really tell it's there. Um, I would probably like it better if it was a different color. Like maybe if it was like a brown. I tend to if I do a lip. It's usually going to be a nude, um, either a really light nude or a darker one, like a brown. Uh, pinks and purples and reds just aren't necessarily um, the kind of lip that I think looks good on me. So, but yeah, I don't think it bleeds any. I think I just got a little bit. Um, and too, like if your lips tend to get like. Uh, if it spreads and like seems like it, it's blown out, a lip liner will help with that. I just didn't have a new lip liner to show. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Just kind of a little uh, makeup look for either new products or things that I haven't used in a while. Um, so yeah, I, um, I did enjoy it. I do enjoy doing my makeup occasionally, uh, especially if it's, you know, something kind of different, something that I wouldn't normally do. Um, if you have any questions about any of these products, uh, please just let me know. And I hope that you do something today that gives back to you because you are important and you deserve it.